Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's calorie crush video. It is Monday the 28th of February. I've got on the scales this morning and the calorie crush from now on, at least while I find out if this works for me and for you, is going to be basically just a chat about how my week's gone and my weigh in. So all of the food diaries are now being done daily. Um, you've probably noticed that I'm doing what I eat in a day videos. I'm going to do those every day. I am finding the accountability is so much increased by putting those videos up daily and I don't know why. I don't know what the psychological reason for that is behind it. It's stopping me from doing that thing where I think I can eat what I want and then sort it out in two days time and I don't know why. I don't know why psychologically telling you guys daily what I've ate is making a difference but it is and I'm glad about it. So I've had a banging week calorie counting with the exception of Tuesday. Tuesday lunchtime, I ate 200 grams of dairy milk. Now, you won't have seen that because it's not in any video diary because the previous video diary for the week finished on the Sunday night and then I didn't start doing what I eat in a day until Thursday. And so there's three days when I didn't record anything, but I didn't go completely off plan for all of those three days. I was fine on the Monday, I was fine on the Wednesday. The Tuesday I did I really, really, really wanted some chocolate. And as I have established, I don't have any breaks. I still do not have any breaks. Um, I've mentioned very briefly in one of the What I Eat In Day videos that people suggest that the these things, the skinny bars, why are you eating that crap? It's, you know, it's full of rubbish. Because they're not Moorish. Because one of those is enough to kill a craving that I might be having for chocolate, but they're not particularly Moorish, so I don't want five of them. Whereas a little bit of dairy milk, and I want a bit more, and a bit more, and a lot more. And I've always had a, a mental compulsion thing to finish things that I've started. So I will eat everything on my plate even after I'm full. The answer to that is put less on your plate to begin with. You can always go back for more if you want it. This is why, bizarrely enough, I don't overeat. If I go to like a Chinese buffet or whatever, I don't go back for eight or nine platefuls. If I only put a little bit on my plate, I'll go back for maybe a little bit more. But it's a very... I, I know where it's from. I know where it's from. It's from a childhood of difficult dinner times, OK? Um, as I've said before, there's some things I don't really want to dredge up and go into but meal times were incredibly difficult and one of the things was get my food out of the way as quickly as possible I had to finish everything that was on my plate and get out of the way as quickly as possible so that I could leave the table and um and I know that that's why I finish everything on my plate I know that's why I eat quickly I eat incredibly quickly I re eat ridiculously fast I'm always the first to finish any meal I don't really bolt my food in a ramming it in kind of way but I perhaps I don't chew enough that's that's a possibility and I don't leave much of a gap between mouthfuls. And I know, I know it's because I want to get that meal over and done with, in a, like I said, in a psychological way, in a, in a throwback to previous issues kind of way. I've, got, I've, I've lost my thread now. What was I? I was saying about finishing things. And so because of that, once I open something, it needs to be portion sized. So these bars, for example, that's a portion and I'll eat one. A 200 gram bar of dairy milk, a family sized bar of dairy milk, that's a portion and I'll eat one. And I know there's no sense to that. I know this, I don't need you to tell me that's stupid. I know it. <laughs> a single portion packet of crisps, that's a portion, I'll eat one. A family size sharing bag, that's a portion, I'll eat one. It's something I have struggled with for years, eating everything that's in front of me and finishing it and making sure it's gone and not, not being able to stop until it's gone. And certainly on Tuesday with this 200 gram bar of dairy milk, off I went, I was only gonna have a bit. I always believe I'm only going to have a bit and I always find out afterwards that I've forgotten that I know me. But Tuesday said and done, Wednesday was okay and Thursday was when I started doing the what I eat in a day and since Thursday I have been flying high. I also have um, discovered that the reason I was craving chocolate so badly was because I was due on so that's that's fine. I, I, I knew that I was approaching that time because of various symptoms that I talked about in previous weeks but the actual uh, the actual event hadn't happened and then it did and that explains the chocolate craving so so yeah it's um it's all, it all began to make a bit more sense then and the, as soon as i started the what i eat in the day videos things improved the situation improved my mindset improved and i have been 
so much better to the point where I've had calories left most days since I started doing those videos. In fact, I've had calories left every day since I started doing those videos. One day it was only 19, but it's still calories left rather than 300 more than I should have had, which is how I'd been a couple of weeks ago. I looked back at my weekly totals and I'd been a couple of hundred over every day. You know, I just simply wasn't sticking within my calories. Come and have a look at my scales from this morning and I'll be back in a sec. Monday, scales time. It's 273. That's two and a half pounds off. Get in. And there it is. That is the result of sticking within my calories and really, really trying hard and possibly the result of getting, like I said, getting to that point in my cycle where the bloating's gone or whatever. I'm delighted. I'm so chuffed with two and a half pounds, as you probably heard from my reaction when it was on the scales. It means I can take off this half, that's a little half there, and put on three holes. There we go. Two, three. It means that I have now lost, finally, I have now got to that seven and a half stone weight loss. In fact, I've gone through it, I've lost seven stone, nine pounds. And that feels so good feels so good to have finally broken through that seven and a half stone barrier that's been on the horizon for so long I've been creeping up to it one step forward two steps back two steps forward one step back and always just tantalizingly out of reach and I've done it and I'm so chuffed what I need to do now is not react to this by celebrating and I, I celebrate with food I don't drink I don't you know we've talked about this before my, my way of celebrating is oh I can eat something nice now and something nice is always something unhealthy <laughs> so I need to make sure that I do not react to that but and celebrate by eating a shit ton of, of empty calories that's it that's all I've got to say I'm really pleased I hope you'll be pleased for me I hope you're enjoying the what I eat in a day videos if you're not enjoying them remember not to watch them that's the, that's the simple answer you choose whether or not you watch um don't put yourself through it if you don't enjoy it don't watch anything on YouTube that you don't enjoy that's your own time you're wasting you know if you don't if you don't, if you don't like it don't watch it and I'll be back next week for another truncated calorie crush I love that word truncated truncated what a brilliant word and just yeah, I'll be just next week next week for a chat and weigh in as ever so there we go I am seven stone nine pounds down result see you next week take care bye for now